A uh, difficult game for him, but he's a young guy learning his trade. Um, this is all part of learning his trade. He's going to be a great player for us. Okay, and in the forwards, you've, you've got your two props, your first choice props back. What does it mean to have them in the front row? Yeah, well, they bring a lot of experience, a lot of now uh, the scrummaging area. Uh, is always difficult or traditionally it's been difficult against Italy and, and we expect the same on Saturday. So they'll bring that plus their uh, aggression and, and calmness. Sure. And Jamie George is, is on the bench. What was the thinking behind that decision? Uh, well, it's just a change in roles, mate. Okay. They're Italy starting, have... he's going to finish. Italy have lost their last 28 Six Nations games. What are the challenges when you're playing a team who you're expected to beat comfortably? Uh, well, we're only worried about ourselves, mate. We're not too worried about Italy. Um, as you know, we're coming off a disappointing loss against Scotland, so we've really focused on ourselves, mate. Okay, thanks, Eddie. Thank you. Thanks. Julian, we'll come to you next, please. Um, morning, Eddie. Um, Hi, it's Julian. It's you said you focused on your system this week primarily. What was the sort of biggest thing and lesson you think you took out of the Scotland game that you've been really concentrating on and want to see uh, just, right this weekend? Yeah, just get our thinking right, mate. Um, yeah, as I said uh, last week, we got the information wrong. Uh, we've just tried to get the information right this week, which will aid in our thinking and get us back playing on the front foot, playing front foot rugby, which we're... When we're at our best, that's we're one of the most damaging teams in the world, and that's what we want to get back to. When you say get your thinking right, what do you mean by that exactly? <laughs> uh, well, if I tell you something, I can make you think one way, mate, can't I? To say, if I say, Julian, you're not a great keeper, or you're a great keeper, or you bowl great off spin, maybe you've got to develop an arm ball. There's all different ways of, of talking, and... And as I said, I got I got the information wrong last week. We uh, just got our priorities wrong in terms of the game and, and we've tried to sort that out this week. Thank you. Thanks, Mitch Phillips. We'll come to you. Uh, hi, Eddie. Um, I, I know you, you kicked off with your standard best 23 for the match line, but lots of England fans out there will be thinking... Uh, this is a missed opportunity maybe to give a chance to some of those young guys. How close were you to putting, say, uh, Harry Randall or Dougler on, on the bench and giving them a look in a game like this? Well, everyone came into consideration, mate. Um, but we want to get back on the front foot and we believe this is the best 23 to get back on the front foot. All of those guys you've mentioned uh, have all been given strong consideration and they understand where they need to keep work, what they need to keep working on. And have you seen sort of signs in the week, week or two you've had them that... Uh, you, you think uh, they're going to be able to make that step to test rugby? You always say it's such a big step up. I know it's early days. Yeah, no, no. For both both those guys that you specifically mentioned, they're both making inroads, uh, both making progress, and each week they get a little bit closer. And, and finally, just uh, just going back to what Julian said, what 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 would you really want to get from this game other than other than the win and the kind of cohesion? What what would be a great uh, playing result for you for you what do you really want to see in the way in the way that attack will you build perhaps oh we want to play english rugby mate good good english rugby where we're as close to our best as we can be uh that involves having good set piece good defense and then being able to to take those opportunities that come in attack and 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 turn those opportunities into points thank you Thanks. Will McPherson, we'll come to you next. Thanks. Hi, Eddie. Um, what is it about facing Italy that you feel needs um, Courtney Laws as a, a sort of lock come flanker on at number six and then a 6-2 bench? What is it about their uh, game that's made you make that decision? Uh, as I said, Will, we're really focused on ourselves and we believe that's the right 23 to play the sort of rugby that we want to play. So we're expecting some ferocious physicality from a pack this week. Uh, well, I think that's that's rugby. Um, always has been, always will be. Um, we want to play with a a front foot. We want to be on the front foot the whole time, the whole game on the front foot, and that pack allows us to do that. And then the backs have got to be able to 
take those opportunities and and turn them into points, and that's that's the priority this week, mate. Thanks, Neil Barker. We'll come to you. Thank you. Hi, Eddie. Hope you're well. Uh, just uh, wondered what your thoughts were on Italy's actual status in this competition going forward. Obviously, they're coming off another heavy defeat. Uh, you guys have never lost to them. Uh, do you think it should be opened up to kind of promotion and relegation, or do you feel Italy are kind of building towards uh, being more competitive? Well, Neil, I'll, le I'll leave that to you and the administrators to talk about, mate. I don't have any view. All I'm concerned about is us playing well. Oh, my God. 